Do you recall Mr. Steele asking you about that drive-by shooting? Oh, yes. Okay. Do you recall the police asking you about that drive-by shooting? Yes. How much information did you give the police about that drive-by shooting? I told the police it wasn't true. Cross, is that right? Is so that coffee, still the case? Red Bull. Okay. All right. Is there a redirect? There is, John. Oh, All my right. gosh. Oh, thank you, Bernice. I appreciate you. We love when the ghosts come out of the shadows. <laughs> thank you for being here. I think whatever Miss Love has been drinking for this past two years, she must have put some of that in their water because they are weak this morning. A Snickers. Mr. Sledge, you were asked yeah, quite a, a Snickers few bar. things. Some. By Mr. Steele on Friday regarding what was and what was not asked of you at the time that you entered your plea agreement with the state. Do you recall that? Yes. Yeah, I understand the strategy, but I got you. Y'all are smarter than me, so I'm not seeing the vision yet. Your Honor, just yes. um, to satisfy the rule of completeness, the state tender states exhibit 444Y, the entire plea agreement, or states 1AS, which was admitted for a different purpose at a different All right. time. Uh, any objection? I have an objection. Okay. Your Honor, I would object to further commentary unless we need to approach. I just. I'm tendering the exhibit. So what she asked I him to do. I understand. He's not commenting. He's stating what his objection is because I asked him to. Um, I think we might need to approach to resolve it, though. Okay, so I was wrong. I mentioned that somebody in the chat said they were trying to get the plea deal in. Um, and I thought they had already had it in. I had the number right. It is 441Y. But apparently it hasn't been it hasn't been entered yet. So we're going to skip ahead. They're going to approach and talk about it. I think they're going to let it in. My question is to the chat. Why do you think the defense would object to the plea being in? Is it because what we talked about? Because this gives. I mean, it's a bad look for <laughs> Mr. Sledge there. Mr. Sledge on cross examination just now. I believe it was by Mr. Weinstein. Forgive me if it was by someone else. Were you asked the question whether anyone ever went over the plea agreement with you between December 28, 2022, when you signed the document that is states 444Y and states 1AS? And today... Were you asked that question on cross-examination by either Mr. Steele or Mr. Weinstein? Uh, I don't know. I don't think Mr. Steele asked me that. He asked me something about June the 9th. So I don't know if Weinstein just asked me that question either. All right. Did Mr. Steele ask you on cross-examination whether anyone went over that document that you signed on December 28, 2022 with you at the June 2024, I believe it was, meeting between you, your attorney, Investigator Lansico, and me in Fayette County. Did Mr. Steele All ask right, so I got a, I must have missed it. Did Judge Whitaker say she was going to allow it, or did she tell her to lay more foundation? Because I didn't hear that. I didn't hear her say anything to the court, so maybe I missed it. Yeah, Rachel, I would think so, but get Mr. Sledge back, please. Thank you, Judge. What's up, Malik? 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, I get what y'all are saying about, oh, yeah, he would sign anything. But who wouldn't, you know? <laughs> like, if we're going to have a conversation about how plea deals are signed, that, that we got to we gotta do that at a later time. We're not having that conversation now. Um, so I get what y'all are saying, though. Malik said, I think the defense is establishing that the defensive plea deals were un were unknowingly, but my point of view, it would also establish ineffective assistance of counsel. Yeah. I mean, if y'all want to send, I said this the other day, if y'all want to send, <laughs> y'all want to send anyone who's about to sign a plea guess, deal love... to Mexico Thanks, on vacation yeah. before they sign it. I mean, that's fine with me, but it is what it is. Thank Mr. You, Sledge, on cross-examination just now, I believe it was by Mr. Weinstein, forgive me if it was by someone else, where you asked the question whether anyone ever went over the plea agreement with you between December 28, 2022, when you signed the document that is states 444Y and states 1AS, and today, were you asked that question on cross-examination by either Mr. Steele or Mr. Weinstein? Uh, I don't know. I don't think Mr. Steele asked me that. He asked me something about June the 9th. So I don't know if Weinstein just asked me that question either. All right. Did Mr. Steele ask you on cross-examination whether anyone went over that document that you signed on December 28, 2022, with you at the June 2024, I believe it was, meeting between you, your attorney, Investigator Lansico, and me in Fayette County. Did Mr. Steele ask you that? I think that was the question was. And was your answer no? Yeah, no, no yes. Okay. At that point, had the document already been signed in its entirety? Had you already signed everything you need oh, to yes, sign? Oh, yes, yes. On cross-examination last week, you were asked about hiring an attorney for the purposes of this case. And let me actually back up and ask you this. You were asked a few questions about what was going on at the time that you signed this plea agreement on December 28th, 2022. Do you recall that? Yes. All right. Do you recall being in a courtroom here in Fulton County on the date that you signed that plea agreement in December, on December 28th, 2022? I don't think I was in the courtroom. I think I was in the tank in the back when I signed. Okay. Were you in a courtroom when you acknowledged under oath that everything that you signed was true? Yes. Did Mr. Steele, Mr. Sharp, or any of your other friends' attorneys ask you on cross-examine? Sustain. Okay. Did you tell the jury that you loved Mr. Steele well? You love Shannon? Yes. Did you tell the jury that you love Defendant Williams. Yes. And Mr. Stilwell and Mr. S Mr. Shart and Mr. Williams, they represent people that you love, correct? Yes. All right. So on cross-examination by lawyers for one of the people that you love in this courtroom, were you asked about your conditions prior to signing the plea agreement that you signed on December 28th, 2022. Could you repeat that? Yes. On cross-examination last week, do you recall being asked about conditions you endured before 
signing the plea agreement that you signed on December 28, 2022? Yes. Do you recall being asked if you felt pressure to sign that plea agreement? Yes, I think so. Do you recall being asked whether you felt intimidated to sign that plea agreement? I don't mm. recall that one. Okay. I'll ask you, were you intimidated by the state into signing that plea agreement? Nope. Was I intimidated? Were you intimidated? I wouldn't say I was intimidated. I was basically oh, like... Man. This guy. This is... I just feel like it was forced on me at the time. I, don't, I wasn't terminated by it. It was forced on you. We're going to come back to that word force, okay? Yeah. He, he's going to get a lot. Do up. you recall on direct examination when I was asking you questions, do you recall you first mentioning something about the fact that your mom, unfortunately, had become ill? Do you remember that? Yes. Do you recall telling me not to speak on her? I said I didn't want to talk about her. Do you recall Mr. Steele asking you about her multiple times? Yes. Did you have any problem with him talking about her? Not, no, because me and my lawyer had discussed don't even get first grade about it. Okay. So is your testimony that you didn't mind Mr. Steele talking about it because you had had a conversation with your lawyer about that? Yes, he just told me to stay focused in. Okay. All right. Even with you, he just say stay focused in. Answer the questions. And tell the truth? Yes. All right. When you say you felt forced, would you please tell the jury who it was that forced you to sign or who you felt forced you, if anyone in particular, to sign anything on December 28, 2022? Mm. Ms. Love is cooking this morning. I say the state because when I addressed it and tried to change situations, they wouldn't change them. So. And it's still your testimony. Is it still your testimony that there were things that you wanted changed that you did not? I'm telling you, Danielle get changed i just wanted to go home <laughs> is that still your testimony objection asked and answered Overruled. what because you repeat nice, it she nice is it yet. still your testimony that there were things you wanted changed in this plea agreement that you did not get changed yes your honor could I talk to my lawyer right first? Mm. You may. No, I don't want to also, right. y'all got to remember. Uh, take a recess. His lawyer has also been subpoenaed as well. I mentioned this last week. I said he doesn't. He's not doing it intentionally. But Mr. Sledge is throwing his lawyer under the bus. And he tried to smooth it over. Say, ah, well, you know, my lawyer. Yeah, I talked to him. And we had this good back and forth, such and such. And. You know, I understand. I understood everything for the most part. I wanted to get this one thing changed and they didn't change it. Well, whose fault is that? His representation, right? Mm -mm -mm. This is a mess. So now his lawyer got subpoenaed. He's going to go on the stand and say, hey, I did my job. He said he understood. Win for the state. Mr. Sledge, have you had enough time to speak with your attorney? Yes. Tom County is a lot better. During the time that you spoke with your attorney, is your attorney the only person that you spoke with? Yes. All right. Did you speak with any member of the state this weekend? This weekend? Yes. No. All right. Did you have an, uh, an opportunity to speak with your attorney this weekend? Mm, Ma'am didn't talk, but. Okay. All right. So did you testify on cross-examination last week that there were portions of the plea agreement that you signed that you asked the state to change, but that the state refused to change? No, what I said, I 
Yes, but they changed certain things, but it still was things that I had problem with. From my awareness, once if you called me to the stand, that I would be able to explain the things that they didn't change. Do you recall when I first uh, asked you questions on direct about the April 2015 drive-by shooting that you April um, 15. The April 28th, 2015 drive-by shooting. Do you recall when I asked you about that on direct? Yes. Do you recall you told me you did that in your best interest? Could you repeat that? You lost me right now. Do you remember saying that was in my best interest when I asked you if you pled guilty to the shooting on April 28, 2015. Yes. And do you remember saying that I did that because it was in my best interest multiple times? Do you remember saying that? You said that I took the plea in my best interest? My question is, do you remember? I don't recall. Okay. Ooh. I don't know. Miss Love must have had an Adderall or something because she is locked in. Mrs. Sledge. Do you remember us talking about your 2015, April 28th, 2015 shooting and that subsequent plea last week? You and me, not anybody else. Why you've been on the stand. You said the 28th drive-by shoot? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. And do you remember I asked you whether you pled guilty to that? Do you remember that? Yes. And do you remember you told the jury, do you remember telling the jury, well, I did it in my best interest? And yes. this is not a trick question, I promise you. Yes. All right. And do you remember you said that more than once? I did that in my best interest. Yeah, I remember that part. Mm -hmm. I remember it and too. And when you say in your best interest, are you familiar with what is known as an Alford plea? Uh-oh, I knew, I told y'all about this, we talked no, about I this last week. I don't really know what an Alfred plea really mean. I just was saying that this one, I, I told pleaded Hobby guilty this. This in my no best Alfred interest. Plea. And when you say that you pleaded guilty in your best interest, what do you understand that to mean as opposed to just flat out pleading guilty? <laughs> Maybe Could you better repeat stop. it? Uh, I can't. That was kind of tricky. Okay. So if you enter just a regular old guilty plea and someone asks you, did you plead guilty, would it be unusual for you to just say yes? I plead guilty? Anytime I, anything I plead guilty to, I feel like it's in my best interest to plead guilty to. That plea that you entered in 2017, um, you may, you speak, Especially, there was a special designation to it, though, right? It was an Alfred plea, wasn't it? I didn't know it was an Alfred plea. I told you, Amy. I told y'all. I told y'all this last when week. When you entered the plea that you entered on December the 28th, 2022, did you recognize the prosecutor asking you questions as the same one talking to you here right now? Me? Yes. All right. And did you recognize the prosecutor at the table with me as the same one I have my left hand on now, Miss Hilton? She wasn't in the courtroom when you did the plea. She went somewhere. Okay. All right. So if we see the She's video, but we see Miss Hilton's lovely face. You'll recognize Miss Hilton as having been in the courtroom. I don't remember seeing Miss Hilton. That's fair enough. Do you remember seeing a judge who looked a little different than the one on the stand now? Yes. Okay. All right, get to the point, Miss Love. You're starting to love. Do you remember love seeing thing again. your attorney, Mr. Wright, there sitting with you? Yes. Right. Is that the same attorney that you had in 2015? I don't think I got arrested in 2015, but if I would, I would have. He would have been the one to do the case. Did you testify on direct examination 
that Mr. Wright has been your attorney for 15 years? Yes. Could you tell the jury when Mr. Wright first started representing you in criminal matters? I want to say like 08, 09, something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Did you tell the jury on cross-examination that Mr. Wright is someone that you trust? Yes. Here we go. Did you tell the jury on cross-examination that Mr. Wright is someone whose advice and counsel you take seriously? I don't remember saying it like that. You put it in that word. Would you just tell the jury right now then how it is you feel about the lawyer who's represented you for the last 15 years? Uh-oh. He been great. Oh. Yeah. He been, he been great cook. to me. Okay. Let her cook. She's cooking right now. The and he was in the room with out. you when you entered the Dang. plea on December 28, 2022? Yes. Is this the first time you've had to testify at a criminal trial? I don't understand what you're saying. Do you understand that you are now in a witness box testifying in a criminal trial under oath? This is my first time knowing that I was a witness to testify up on the oath. All right. So this is the first time that you've testified in a criminal trial. Is that fair to say? I ain't going to say it's probably not. It's probably not my first time, but me knowing that I was going to be called as a witness. Yeah, this is my first time. She's right. cooking in a crock pot. Y'all give her some time. She got the greens in there. She got the, she got the. Do you remember being asked on cross-examination Brown sugar. by either <laughs> Mr. Sharp? Or Mr. Steele, I believe it was Mr. Sharp, your friend Shannon's lawyer. Whether you. Um, oh, I think she's just trying to get clear who it is. But we don't we don't need the commentary. Yes, Your Honor. She just threw the butter in there. Do you know who represents your friend Shannon? Yes, I've been sitting in the courtroom like everyone is. Which person do you recognize as representing Defendant Stillwell? Mr. Short. All right. So do you remember Mr. Short asking you if on December 28, 2022, you found yourself between a rock and a hard place? I remember that. Yes. All right. And what did you answer to him regarding December 28, 2022? What did I say? Yeah, what was your answer to that question? I said yes. And would you tell the jury what the rock was and what the hard place was? I remember exactly what he said too. The rock was the situation I was in and the hard place where my mother was sick. And when you say the situation you were in? Incarcerated. Okay. And right. Yeah, and I was on the screen and with a hopefully, gun. is your mom doing... She's, no, she deceased. I'm sorry. Oh, that's sad. So did Dang. your being in Fulton County Jail have any bearing on your decision to enter that plea that you entered on December 28, 2022? Being in Fulton County Jail and away from my mother. All right. Which one had the biggest bearing? Being away from my mother. All right. So being in Fulton County Jail wasn't a big factor in your entering that plea? Objection. This characterizes his I'm testimony. I'm asking a question. I couldn't hear them both at the same time. So I'll rephrase. All right. She's going to rephrase. Mr. Didn't Sledge. They, didn't they ask him that question, though? Didn't was being confined in the Fulton County Jail a large factor in your deciding to enter a guilty plea on December 28, 2022? Great question. Yes, it was, but my mother was bigger. Okay. All right. That's a man. Miss Love about to get him.
Is there any reason mm-hmm. why during the plea colloquy that the jury heard on Friday that was played uh, or Monday, last Friday, actually, that was played at the end of the state's direct? Is there any reason or rather, let me ask you, did you ever hold up your hand and tell the court you wanted to make some clarifications? No, I would have directed it to my lawyer and whatever you did, you did, but whatever, what I wanted, you wouldn't do. You didn't do everything I wanted, which I state. You were asked by Mr. Steele, uh, your friend, Mr. Williams' attorney, whether or not the state ever sat down and met with you. Do you remember being asked whether the state ever sat down before the June meeting and before you entered that plea agreement and met with you? Do you remember him asking you that? Yes. Did the state ever sit down and meet with you? No. Did you ever agree to sit down and meet with the state? I can't agree if the state don't come to me and ask me. Do you, or has your attorney, or you, do you have any understanding that the state can't come to you except through your attorney? No, I didn't know that. Okay. Did you ever have an understanding that the state wanted to talk to you before you signed the plea agreement on December 28, 2022? No. Okay. Did you ever ask your attorney for an opportunity to speak with the state? No, I ain't never asked him to speak to the state. Why not? Y'all see this? Y'all see, do you hear what's happening right now? I'm sorry, as a juror, I'm like, man, get this dude out of here. Let me see that plea deal real quick. Uh Uh-huh, I did the, okay. Drive by, Mm mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, man, get, yeah, get him out of here. 35 years, he's done. Let's keep it moving. Love, Miss Love is cooking. It's too late. No, I didn't know that. Okay. Did you ever have an understanding that the state wanted to talk to you before you signed the plea agreement on December 28, 2022? No. Okay. Did you ever ask your attorney for an opportunity to speak with the state? No, I ain't never asked him to speak to the state. Why not? I don't know. I can't tell you that else. I never asked him to speak with you. Because that's his job. That ain't my job. That's why I hired him. It's your job to ask if you want something changed, dummy. Was there anything about the state that made you feel you couldn't speak with the state if you wanted to? Mm-hmm. No, but if they would have came to me and asked me to speak with them, with that plea agreement was on that, I would have told them the same thing I told him when I took it. Like, that ain't right. Now, when we speak about the state, is your understanding that that means only the district attorney's office? Or do you consider the state the police as well? I just thought all y'all work together. I don't know. They put you in jail. You put you in jail if you have to. So I don't know. Y'all both doing y'all job, I guess. And so when police spoke with you back in 2015, did you consider them the state as well? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I think y'all work in two different departments. You're right. Because I don't see the state on the street locking people. The police, I do. So when you spoke with the police back in 2015, (laughs) did you tell the police any of those things that you told your friend, Defendant Williams' attorney, and your friend, Defendant Stillwell's attorney, when they asked you questions on cross, did you tell the police any of that stuff? I don't think they asked me nothing like that. You don't I don't recall. That. I don't recall them asking me nothing like that. You said the police. Yes, sir. I don't recall them asking me nothing like that. What Mr. Steele asked me. Do you recall Mr. 
still asking you about that drive-by shooting? Oh, yes. Okay. Do you recall the police asking you about that drive-by shooting? Yes. How much information did you give the police about that drive-by shooting? I told the police it wasn't true. Okay. Now, okay, so, yeah, and Ms. when Ms. I Ms. asked you on direct examination down. about that drive-by shooting, what did you tell me about that drive-by shooting? I don't recall. You All right, Ms. Love needs to chill out now. She's getting a little too hyped up. Now, I know y'all are watching the show. Miss Hilton, go ahead and pass her a note real quick and tell her to chill. She's getting, she's getting a little too, little too excited. Do you recall me asking you what you did before that shooting? I don't recall, Miss Love. <laughs> Do you recall me asking you how did that shooting happen? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we need to chill. I will. I can show you. I can Go respond. Ahead. Overruled. You hear how she's talking to Thank you, Judge. Judge. I, I can respond. Do you recall me asking you what led to that shooting? I don't recall. Do you recall telling me on the stand, or actually telling the jury, because it's not me, do you recall telling the jury when I asked you on direct that you just went to pick up Mr. Garlington from the club or that Mr. Garlington had gotten jumped on? I think I told you I went back and got him from the club. That's what I told you. And do you recall telling the jury when I asked you questions that you didn't see anybody who jumped on Mr. Garlington? I told you I didn't know anyone that jumped on Mr. Gunn to say anything I told them on cross. I didn't know exactly who it was that jumped on. Did you tell the jury on direct with questioning by me that you didn't see the faces of anyone who jumped on Mr. Garlington? Yes. And did you tell the jury that you didn't see the faces of anyone that you may have interacted with during that time? Yes, sir. What's the objection? Your, may I yes. respond? Yes. Your Honor, Mr. Steele cross-examined the witness on this very topic. I believe that it is necessary to orient the witness to the questions I asked before I get into the questions that I want to ask him about what he told Mr. Steele, um, number one. So it's not a 403 waste of time in any way. Um, and I believe that he made a second objection I'd like to respond to, but I can't remember what it was. It was kind of long. And Maybe. leading, Your Honor, suggests an answer, um, and it does not consist of questions that simply require yes or no response. Overruled. Um, and I'll give you a little leeway. Thank you, Ms. Love. Get to the, what you actually want to get to. 